Hello everybody and welcome back to Kettlebridge with me Biffo here on Sherpa Street heading on over to oh man look at that hole to the abyss there want to watch out for that morning heading on over to the park and yes we are back in City Skylines 2 with lots of plans for today uh, as you can see I've added a couple of mods to my playthrough after my video earlier in the week discussing the modding scene and the things that are available I've decided to add first person mod to the game which I really like you can walk around in your city like this enjoy some of the sights and sounds which we're going to be doing let's come out of this view we've also added oh, where are we it's put us <laughs> over here miles away from everywhere else it does that a little bit buggy but it's okay it's working so i'm just switching to this view at the moment to show you the thunderstorm mod launcher that i've been trying out we're using extended tooltip by cs2 modding cities 2 modding first person camera and legacy flavor if you want to know a little bit more about those let's have a quick look so the extended tooltip one i am really liking that one if we just hover over a building we get this little pop-up box there that gives you some information that you would normally have to click on the building to get and particularly if we find there we go some shops so we can see the efficiency how many people are living there the employees what they're buying what they're selling we get that on the school as well so something like the efficiency being 88 percent would catch my eye so then i could have a look in here and see what the problem is the service budget is a little bit too high okay so we could do something about that if we come into our education um the service budget for education um oh actually probably not high enough that might be what it means if i whack that up to a hundred percent speed the game up a bit ah oh, there we go their efficiency has increased so obviously we don't need to put it up that much let's maybe drop it at 90 percent and that will change in a second it's got even better okay well we get the idea with that anyway <laughs> Um, i think this building's empty so we won't get that sort of information but yeah i'm liking this a lot so a very quick look around the city um and then the legacy mod is just changing the color of things so it's easy to see now in this mode and also in this mode what zoning you've got in different places stands out much much better uh, the zoning color as well has been changed so it's not so gray which is good and if you're placing roads you also get the u length added as well which i'm going to find all of those handy if somebody can build a prop line tool that is just going to then blow me away and i would just be very happy anyway so what are we going to do today and just before we do that a word from our sponsors instant gaming if you wish to order city skylines 2 or any other game instant gaming are offering up to 80 percent discounts this black friday week End. please consider using my affiliate link on screen or in the pinned comment below when doing so you'll get a steam key you can redeem on steam as normal along with fantastic discounts plenty of other games to catch your eye to including the brand new football manager 2024 thank you very much for your support let's get back to the video i've got an idea of what i want to do with this piece of land over here which we'll get to in a moment but i want to see if we can really increase the numbers on our transportation thank you for pointing out this button down here to me i did know about it i just don't know why i didn't use it very quick way to get into this so our usage has definitely gone up over the course of our build and with some of the patches that have come out as well if we have a look at our transportation we'll get some figures there so i'm going to do a screenshot so we can compare at the end the number of citizens so i mean we're getting up close to 20,000 19,700 nod which is really really good what i'm thinking of doing because we are making so much money actually how much money will it tell us how much we're making i suppose it's in this one here isn't it that we see how much we're making from our transportation we're losing 156,000. that's our fees i'm wondering if we set everything to zero whether we'll still make money and whether this percentage will go up and whether our total amount of people that use it will go up as well so let me just nip through here and pop all the oh it's so much easier going through this uh thing here isn't it if i start at the top i won't get so confused so much easier jumping into that menu there and dropping all the ticket prices down on our transportation and we don't have many trains and the uses of these is very low but i'm going to drop the ticket prices down to free on all of these as well 
there we go everything adjusted our fees are now zero so we're going to see how that works and i will be adding some more transportation as we go along but let's turn our attention to this piece of land over here i've been thinking could we build in it what could we do with it and you know what i'd like to do i'd like to make this a waterfront all the way along this little area here and i'm very interested to know whether it will affect our land value so if we just sort of take an overview of what's going on here uh, land value the higher the blue or the darker the blue i should say the higher the land value this is all pretty high this is not too shabby along here and the building land value as well is really high which is good i'm assuming if we click on these buildings yeah they're all heading up towards higher yeah higher levels which is good but we do have this little river that's sort of coming through here off the offshoot of all of this water that's running around here and i'm pretty sure that we could do a little bit of terraforming let's just pause the game and have this coming through here so if we take our level terrain tool and let's have a look grab what i'm assuming is the deepest point right in the middle there and take that down that is pretty deep and we could go all the way up don't think we're going to have that road there all the way up to here so the idea is is to dig all of this out oh we've already got water appearing there we go down here some of these bits of bridges some of them are normal roads and then as we go along and get this sort of nice edge all the way along here there we go like this one here for instance we could delete that spot pop it in again so if we just get all of our tools lined up oh there we go excellent curve that in there it doesn't seem quite as curved as it was before and hopefully there we go zoning's okay and we get a nice retaining wall along there and if we do it paused we're not going to lose anything i've had some bus stops on there which i think oh, i messed up the zoning which i think have now gone so we would need to remember to add those in as we go along yeah we had one each side and then we want to get that oh there's like more than one bus stop here hang on hang on we drag that into there we drag that one no oh this is really difficult why can't it be easy <laughs> to get the one we want i'm zooming in to get as close as we can i want that green one green one come on now game come on you can do it i don't think you can do it oh you had it green there we go that's going to go in there as well i think that's how it was but you get the idea anyway and then when we let the water run in i think that's going to look really good with our bridges going over the top so let me empty all of this out and then we'll see how it looks okay there we go i've dug it all out all the way along oh man i've got to remove all of these trees as well haven't i which will be good fun the water is going to start moving in in a moment not quite sure why the game is jumping up and down so much but there we go and i've removed the power line and just rerouted that uh, somewhere else because it was coming all the way down here but that's where our connection is to the outside of the city so we've just done that um yeah let's remove all of these trees as well and hopefully we can just do that with a tree brush again click in the wrong menu come on get with the program we want that one there and then turn off that one there and then if we put this one up to 100 percent there we go and just drop that down in size a bit that should remove everything oh fantastic let me just do that there we go i think we're pretty much ready now before we unpause we want to just work our way through here and see if we can get all of these things working correctly uh, all our different roads and such so let's grab that and pop that into there and hopefully that will just no if we do it straight that would be great line it all up that we should get we've got a bridge here which is exactly what we want we want the water flowing underneath but all of these along here i'm hoping it really is just going to be a case of that's an asymmetrical road as well it's just sort of lining these up and plopping them in and they work first time that looks like it's straight which it does excellent so i'm going to work along all of these down here yeah that worked okay didn't it and then we can just use the tools again to grab that height and just push that back just to get rid of the snow oh auto save have a quick sip of tea there we go pop that back in there and that should work okay excellent 
Very good. We need to rebuild all of that down there as well. I notice we've got some zoning is just going to have to get redone. That's just the way it's going to go. Um, this isn't straight across here anyway. So yeah, I want that to be a bridge. So let's get that all nice and flat. And I would like to rebuild that roundabout. So we get that sort of turret look, which we've got in other places in the city as well. Let's use that middle one. We're just going to sort of keep that at an angle like that yeah that's fine and it's actually already built the turret around it okay so then if i just upgrade this one boink with this road here then that should sort the problem so i'll tell you what i'm going to do is i'm now going to go through the game all the way down the road here yeah there we go excellent upgrade all of these before we let the water through excellent okay, just tidying up a bit over here i'm actually thinking now that i put these roads in down the front here that i'd really like these to be pedestrian roads all the way along here because that's something that we had oh, i need to redraw that one in that's something that we had on the other side of our city over here and that worked really well we can still have houses up against them so yeah i think i'm just going to go around and upgrade all of these uh these ones here i'm not too sure actually because that's the main road in that comes sort of round to this way yeah do you know what? i think i am as well i'm going to do all of these just so we get that unified front oh dear let's just see what have we got here a mail sorting facility also known as a post office let's just move that back yep and i'll do the rest of these there we go looking much better we're getting some sort of high rent issues along here so what i was thinking for along the front is not to have the sort of lower rent houses or oh, sorry higher rent houses lower residential is i want to use the path trick as well to let's have a look let's grab this over here just to force the zone in to go onto the front like so and we'll sort of do that all the way along here oh, i thought that was going to jump a little bit more there we go excellent there we go and then we can go along here and i want to add in some of these medium density buildings that's okay this can be shops like it was before let's pop shops in there shops in there this is the school is going to be running off a pedestrian road so we might just switch that round a little bit but any other little places like this we could draw in some nice medium density different size buildings take up some of the need of that there we go and a little bit of eu mixed housing here and there as well excellent and i think we should be good to go we've got bridges i haven't done the motorway this side we'll see how things go and i might just leave that as a wall as it is oh hang on we've got this little path here we've got to sort out so people can get over let's try and turn that more into a bridge and then we're going to let this thing fill up can we go for a cable stayed bridge coming off of there i'm not sure whether this is gonna like it i don't even know what that is that's actually a gravel road isn't it oh i thought that was a, a path coming over the top we'll leave the gravel road there for now i don't think we'll worry too much about that right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into eight speed we're gonna use the photo mode zip this up to eight speed and then hopefully the water it's going to start coming in it might mean that i need to actually lower this little bit here which i completely forgot about let's grab that take that height there and bring that all the way through oh i think it's going to start going let's just watch this fill up right things are looking good water's flowing through we've caused some traffic because over here we've now got pedestrian streets on the side so everybody want to walk across here and it sort of messes up with the roundabout i mean what the heck why are you walking across it so what we're going to do is we're going to just these side ones here we're going to just change those back to yes yeah, do asymmetrical um no, I want those in the middle let's do that and we'll have it go that way oh it won't let me do it because of water what okay about this one won't let me do that one because of water either what is the problem okay if i delete this am i gonna be able to draw it back in nope because of water oh new game that's why i upgraded and did all of these before letting the water in so it wouldn't be a problem i'm gonna have to like fill this bit in again aren't i and then pop the road in i bet that even isn't going to let me do it because of the water 
Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? This is what we can do. If you're using the dev UI, we can go into simulation, bypass validation results. There we go. And then we can pop this back in. Oh, it's doing another auto save. Let's try that again. Boink. There we go. Pop this back in here. And that will go in anywhere. Actually, I think that would have gone in <laughs> with no problem. And it also means that while we've got that turned on, we can just upgrade that road and that will be fine. And then we'll just need to oh, sort out that bit of road there, that bit of land. It's probably easy just to do it this way. Is that okay? Yes, everybody's happy. Excellent. And then hopefully when we get that running, we're not going to have so many people trying to cross the road. We're still going to get some. I think that's just the way it's going to go. But yeah, we'll leave that going there. And then obviously we've got some traffic lights in here, which shouldn't be there. So we're going to remove those. Boink. Have they gone? Couldn't really see, but I think they've gone. Let's just check... The other road here we popped in, that's okay. It's spreading over here just to try and help it along a bit. I've just added in a couple of little lanes for bringing this water in. It's very slow. We've got one up here as well. But yeah, that's looking good. Excellent. So we can tidy that up a bit as we go along. Oh, we've got more traffic over here. What's happening over here? Yeah, we've got, again, we've got traffic lights that we don't need. Let's move those. Please keep moving. Please keep moving. There we go. We may add a little roundabout in there. So what's happening now is instead of this road being used as the main road, it's this one coming through here. So I'm definitely going to add a little small roundabout there. I'm also going to turn that back off again so we don't get any issues. And hopefully that will just keep moving and go down. I think we'll be okay. And then what I'd like to do is add in, and I meant to do this before, is add in these again at the end of every road that connects, which is going to mess up my building. So I'm going to have to go back and do those again. Um, yeah, it looks okay there. Do I want one here by the path? No, we'll leave that one like it is. And it just gives us that effect again that we've had on the other side of our city, which I really like. Oh, we can put them on the corner as well. And the internal roads. That is really good. And we're getting a load of XP for doing that as well. Oh, that is looking nice. I like that. Now, this bit here, I'm not too sure what to do about that. I think we will upgrade this other side so it looks the same as this at some point. But for now, I think we'll just leave it like that. I'm going to sort out the zone in. Then we're going to go back and check how our mass transit is doing. Well, this isn't the final big comparison, but we're still making money. And I'm pretty sure that's more than we were making before. Money-wise, if we go into our services, our transportation, definitely no fees there. If we come over here into our transportation menu, we've jumped over the 20,000 mark, which is fantastic. And the fact that we're still making money is really good. Our usage may have gone up a little bit. But yeah, we'll keep that chugging away. But that is really good. So what I'm hoping is, is that's going to help increase the wealth of people that say they don't have enough money, um, which means they'll be able to spend more money in places. I don't know why they're unhappy, but there we go. We're going to remove them. They'll grow back. And we'll stop seeing as many of these low rent uh, complaints that we've got over here. So they're very happy. Spacious homes are happy about. I'm not too sure why they're saying that. But anyway, we'll just keep on going. Now, what I'd like to do is really set out our next area of expansion. We've started to work up here. And I really want to get some roads going out. Let's have a look. We've got 29 squares that we can unlock next. Where should we go? I mean, one thing I want to take into consideration is our production. We're always going to be in a deficit of wheat because it's used for so many different things. So I think we really need to take a look at what natural resources that we've got available to us and, yeah, do something with those. We've got this grid over here. So I'm going to take all three of those and we can build out there. Anything else that's nearby? We've got this big chunk over here. So I'm going to grab... Oh, they're already purchased. That's good. I'm going to grab all of those. And then after that, this is the next nearest. Yeah, let's grab. I'm grabbing these extra ones as well so we can put some highway junctions in, which I think will help. And then after that, we're getting right out to this other sort of secondary island, which I don't really want to jump too far. I'm going to grab that. We can expand our oil as well. Um, or we haven't really done anything with. And that's sort of built that's right in the main area of our city so i don't want to mess with that so do we have any ore 
that's sort of nearby. And we've got this one here that we've just unlocked. That is all, isn't it? Yeah, which we, we could do like a factory area there. Just like under, oh, this is like a whole ore island. Do you know what? Why not? Let's grab, let's grab all of those. Still got 13 left. And then, yeah, let's build, build on, oh, I really want to grab this up here, but I think we're getting a bit too far out, but why not? Let's grab the rest of this little arc. Oh, look, it all goes all the way down to here. What's that going to leave us with? How many is that in my buying? 12 out of 13. No, let's not grab all of those. Let's maybe grab those as well. Leave us a couple left. Yeah, that will give us a lot to go on with. And then I'd like to spend some of these points to help us towards these goals that we're aiming at. So starting from the top here, I'm not bothered about any of this these items at the moment. We seem to be doing okay with all of that. Um, when we get down to this one, I'd like the Geological Research Center because that helps discover larger underground deposits of ore and oil. It doesn't actually do that. What it does is it increases what you take out of the ground in the resources that have already been found. So slightly misnomer in the wording there, but we're definitely going to grab that for four points. Firewatch Tower, I want that, and the Helicopter Depot, or Depot, I want those as well to help us out. What have we got? Four left. Shame we can't get the bank yet. I'd like to get the water, definitely, because we're working our way around those. And these things, we've got two left. We're going to save those points. We're almost... We go over here. Large city will be the next one. And then by then we're just getting unlocked points and things all the way to the end. So, yep, with our building that we're going to be doing, I think that is going to help. What is going on over here? Every time I turn around, there's... Oh, man, this fire is spreading something chronic. I'm assuming someone from somewhere has been dispatched. You're over here. I wish they dispatched more. <laughs> Quicker. And this can't be fixed um, until we... Um, is it the firehouses that have the addition for rebuilding? I don't think it is. Let's have a look over here. Firehouse. No, we've actually got to get... Let's go back into here. The fire station. And that has rescue operations as well. I'm going to grab one of those. And we're going to pop one over here somewhere let's pop it in our industry area i believe that's a normal firehouse so yeah we are gonna get rid of that and we're gonna pop a big fire station in here which is huge bigger than i thought okay we've got space this way we're gonna add that there and then i believe this has got a fire and rescue sort of thing so we've got a helipad disaster response units there we go that search for survivors in collapsed buildings I'm going to add that on, which actually will sort of sneak nicely in there. The helipad, we're going to add that on. Does actually give me helicopters? Fire helicopters one. Training facilities help firefighters stay in shape, extinguish fires more efficiently, and garage extension. We'll leave those for now. Um, and then I'm going to leave that on no particular district, and we'll see how it goes. And I'm wondering... Oh, autosave. I'm wondering whether... They will now come over here. Yeah, they've been dispatched. Ah, here we go. Ah, and they automatically rebuild so we don't have to delete. That is what I was hoping for. So we'll leave that open and we'll see what happens with that. Right, okay, so we're up to 30,000. We are growing nicely. Let us see where we're going to expand to with our road networks into these new little areas that we've got. So we've got these resources over here. So we are going to need some sort of highway junction. Unfortunately, this is the big bridge. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Zoink. That's going to zoom us all the way out. Is We're going to grab this square here as well and hope that that's enough space to add in some sort of intersection. So we're going to go for a smaller service interchange. This teardrop one, I think, will be very good. I was hoping we could just sort of slot that in and it would build it. But because of the curve in the roads that are already here, I don't think that's going to happen. So let's just delete some of these roads. What we're going to have to do, let's just grab this one here. We're going to cut that one off there and then we're going to cut this one off it's automatically going to cut it off at the end there so let's drag that that way that that way making sure we're not deleting things we don't want to delete excellent and then if we sort of just line this up we should be able to just hook this in with little problem um do you know what i'm going to do i'm actually going to flatten out this piece of land i'm looking at it now thinking doesn't look too flat let's take that height there and left click 
and drag that through to there just to get a bit of a smooth connection. And then this height in the middle here, right click. I'm just going to sort of spread that out either side. Looks a bit lumpy and bumpy, but I think we're okay. Excellent. And then we'll take this and we'll pop that in here after we've deleted these lines we can hook those back up again and yeah i think that will do nicely and then let's hook this up these are two yep yeah, two lane there we go power's coming in and out this is working nicely we've got lanes for coming off there's a lot of merging and stuff going on here isn't there Oh man, can you see can you see the cursor that I'm moving around? I wish there was a way to change the colour or to make it bigger, but there we go. I'm just wondering whether we could just downgrade this a little bit. Or I might just leave it as it is. We'll see how it goes. Right, so the area that we're trying to build on over here looks reasonably flat. So what I'm thinking we're doing, let's just have a look at this over here, is utilising these two areas. Do we have a train line nearby? We do. We have the train line that we built last time. Here we go, going into our train station up here near the university and stuff. So we're going to need to sort of bring this over here as well, which means I'm glad I saved a couple of squares. So this is going to come across here. Then it's going to have to come through there and down there. So we are going to very quickly run out of squares. We've got two left. There we go. So let's bring this in. Okay, so I've lifted the height up to five meters. And what I'm thinking of doing is just sort of bringing that slightly over this island as if that's a midpoint. There we go. Excellent. And we'll lower that back down again. And we can then just keep the curve going as little as possible. But across to the point here. Excellent. Where we're going to jump across again. We'll jump up to five meters. And then I'm probably going to just bring that one straight across. Let's get that lined up. 180. Excellent. Now we're back onto flat land, flat land again. Oh, disconnected. There we go. So we can sort of bring that in to wherever we think it's necessary. So I'm just going to sort of dump that there. And we'll probably find that as this road comes down, that is where our train station is going to go. What have we got? Yeah, standard two-lane road. So if we... Although that one's asymmetric, which is fine. If we just bring that straight down here, something like that, and then we can get our train station. If I remember correctly, yeah, the line comes out at a weird angle. We're going to have to buy another tile. <gasps> Let's hope we don't need any more anywhere else. There we go. Excellent. And the train station is going to come off of this road and then connect to that. Sort of like... Turn it around like that. That's what I want up against here. So if we bring this road nice and far out like so, delete all of that. We should be able to then place that against here. And that could be where we connect up to. Yeah, I'm going to bring that back a little bit. So then we've got some more space over here for things. There we go. And then this road here could come around the side. And then that could change into an asymmetric road there. I think we'll be all right that way. And then we can just hook this up. There we go. I think that'll work okay. The power and the water. Ah, yes. Because down here, we're getting no power and water through this highway. Now, something I haven't done, which I think should be interesting to do, is if we're adding lights onto any of these roads, they will automatically start taking power. So if I just add a load of lights around here down here onto the highway. I'm actually going to bring it all the way down across the bridge. Yeah, we can do the whole thing. And then if I go up around here and into there, I mean, that should have power. Yeah, now we've got power down the highway. And also, oh, auto save with the lights on. That should sort of help with any collisions and accidents and things like that. Nice. I might go down and do the other side as well at some point. Um, let's just smooth this out a little bit here and delete both of those. We'll take this, make this a little bit smaller. We're going to right click there and just bring that down. Excellent. That'll be much better. And then we'll just stick this as I feel like a four lane road is going to be better in here. We can sort of get that in the middle. Actually, we come from this way and go straight up. We know that that is in the middle. If I take off my 
there we go take off the snapping tools and we can get that to connect up like that without actually clicking into it and we get these nice little bends for making it easier to get in and out which you i suppose you sort of get it on that side as well but now we've got dedicated lanes for all the different directions that we're going and then the last one i want to upgrade is this one coming into there there we go excellent why are you still complaining about power and water Ah, oh, water, of course, won't be carried through all of this, will it? Let me just hook some water pipes up. Oh, and here we go. People are already coming in here to drop off goods and things, which is great. So we know it's all working. So what I want to do now is just plan out some other roads over this side. And let's take another look at our natural resources. Yeah, so I think with this road here, we're just going to bring this. Let's go for this one. I don't want to buy any more tiles, so this is going to have a bit of a curve to it. And we're just going to bring that right up through here to the edge of this area. And then let's build some ore production. Let's have a look in here. I don't think I've... Yeah, we haven't got any ore production yet. So we could do ore mining and also coal mining as well. So maybe we'll mix those up in here. There we go that is most of the ore covered we've got space for a little bit extra if we want to and then what i'm going to do as well as we've got plenty of needs oh we've got some water here i don't think we're going to be making use of that so what i am going to do if i can come out of that view is zone in yeah this zoning particularly hard to see when it's snowing but yeah there we go we'll work on that so i'm going to pop some of these buildings in just sort of along these side roads here that hopefully will form some sort of synergy with what we've got. I don't want to go right up to there. Let's maybe get a couple of corner ones in there. We could do something along the back here. We might sort of get some storage and that sort of stuff. But hopefully that will be helpful. We can smooth out the land when we get there. And you're all going to complain about water and stuff again. Um, so let's have a look. That should have connected up, but it didn't. So let's do that. We're going to pop that around the sides here. There we go. And power is connected. So that's okay. Yeah, excellent. There we go. So we'll keep an eye on how much I've got a mixture here of coal and ore. In fact, I could probably just hover over this, can't I? What can we see? Metal ore, metal ore, metal ore, and coal. Just thought I'd throw a bit of that in, um, even though we're not going to be using too much of that. There we go. We are producing. Oh, it's easy to. We are producing a little bit of a deficit but that'll be okay. Right, so I'm going to do a similar sort of setup over here on our farmland. Not so large, but yep, yeah, we'll see what we can put together. Okay, there we go. So I've done a similar thing over here as well. Just put some industry buildings in and hopefully that will take a little dent out of everything that we're trying to do and then that can be shipped in and out. Um, of course, we've got to set our cargo routes. Totally forget about that because up until recently, we didn't have to do that. So that one is going to come all the way through to over here with this cargo train terminal and back again. There we go. And then I would like to also add routes going in and out to see. Well, do I actually want to do that? No, I don't really. I don't really need any other goods brought in here because all I want to do is ship these goods into the city. And if I bring them over to here, then they can start being sent out. Uh, we've got just a good. Yeah, we've got one here as well. So we're going to go from all the way the other side of the entire city and here and back again as well. There we go to spread our goods out. So let me just name and color those lines. So cargo trains. Here we go. So that's going to be these two. Let's just switch up the color a bit. We'll sort of go for a light purple on that one. We'll go for a darker purple on that one. And then we've got to find out which one's which. So this is Palmer Springs. Ooh, no vehicles. We'll have a look at that in a second. Um it's not even showing me the uh, the line coming over here. Uh, let's go into this view. Will that help? Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So this is these two here. Oh, hang on. No, we're in buses. Ah, 
trying to confuse me. Where's my cargo? There it is. Excellent. Thank you. So that one over here. It probably could do with setting up a district over here because we haven't got one. I'm just going to hastily chuck one in. And then we're going to name this after one of my very lovely supporters on Patreon. Ooh, what a great name. This is going to be named after Tor and Viken. Thank you very much for your support. It's going to be Viken Crossing. So now I can name those two cargo lines. I'll just do that off camera. And this one here, Viken to Teal and Downs. Very good. Um, so hopefully we'll see a lot more usage in those as things go on. Not a lot being brought in from external i know there's a little bit of a problem with goods coming in and out but definitely now that should help our goods being transferred within our city which is exactly what we want to see we seem to have a traffic jam going on over here let's have a look at that and thank you very much for your support on patreon i do very much appreciate that if you want to help me out as well and support the channel then you can go and check that out let's pop in a two lane down here uh, there'll be a link on the screen or in the description where you can go and do that. Uh, let's upgrade this one. I want that in the middle there. I don't mind it coming off one lane and going into two. And you know what? Actually, that should have been highway road, shouldn't it? Let's just change that. There we go. thought it was looking a bit fat. We'll do that there. How's everybody else looking? They're doing a lot of stopping on here, aren't they? <laughs> lane changing. Yeah, there's winky wonky things going on. We'll just leave that one. There was another traffic jam I saw along the front. Oh, that's an accident. Oh, my goodness me. I am so sorry. <laughs> Who owned that car? Owner, the Kingsley family, which is one household. Where are you? You're over here. So you've your car's gone in the drink and then you've left it. Um, I do apologize. It's been sorted. You, it's been fished out. Okay. Yes. So another issue that we now need to fix uh, in one of the latest patches the rubbish or the garbage issue was sorted um, but we are now getting garbage piling up so we've been relying on all of our rubbish just being taken outside the city um, or have we? No, I'm saying that I think we do actually have a very small area where we're doing we do the recycling centre of course but that is not reaching far enough over we've got 15 vehicles well let's increase that uh, another 15 trucks yeah, what's this going to do? The speed? Well, the speed and the everything else is okay. And storage. So maybe just the amount of trucks. Oh, let's do that then. I didn't think I had anything, but obviously we do. So, vehicles for our train lines. Let's take a look at our train depot, which is over here. So we've only got 15, or rail yard as it's called. Maintenance hall. So actually, we are already at the maximum of this train yard. I know a lot of people are twitching because I haven't got all these lines connected, but that's okay. It still works. Ah, oh, so we need to add another train yard to our setup over here. How the heck are we going to do that? Because that's like a huge thing to fit in. We haven't got our budget turned down, have we? I'm pretty sure we looked at this earlier and it was okay. Transportation is at 100. If I put that up to 150, does that actually give me any more? No, it doesn't. Just increases the efficiency. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. So that means, uh, services, I'm going to have to do, 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 build another one of these in here and hook it up. And that traffic fix city that we did, they did a lot of this, hooking things up, one behind the other, behind the other. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what we can do with this. I'm just looking at this main line going through here, thinking if we just sort of go along here somewhere like so and as long as we get this hooked up to this main line we should be okay i was really hoping that was just gonna automatically cross over and not be a problem but i don't think it is um, let's just see if we can get that hooked in like that and then see if we can take this smaller line out of here cross this one that should just cross over like that and then bring that in to there everybody can get everywhere they need to these just cross over which you're going to see at rail line stations and things like that there we go trains are going out so that should be okay and then we'll auto save and then if we need to we can hook these other lines in as well although we really don't need to it is just a visual thing um, but I might just, for the sake of keeping everybody happy, see if we can get that across there. 
that looks like it goes into both and then this one here is just going to hook into this one and then can we have it coming out of here as well and going into this one over here oh we can messy train lines gotta love it excellent so that should be all right i don't know what you're doing are you just waiting for permission to go or what are you doing where are you trying to get to you're yeah one of the new lines there isn't like weird traffic lights on here or anything is there <laughs> it shouldn't be no can't do anything about that are you just not liking crossing over there mm, let's give that some time to see so we're getting five out of ten on there which is good i'm not sure not sure they're gonna do it nope they've gone let's see whether the next one makes it out if not i'll redraw the line yeah that's no, not liking that is it oh there we go moved it along a bit and it's fine excellent so that should keep let's have a look oh so it's balanced it out a bit 12 out of 15 on there another five on there and then if we need to we've got extra tracks for extra capacity and you know what i'm going to add that on now that's oh, actually it's extra capacity but it's not extra did that add any extra people uh, any extra vehicles yes i'm blind it added another five okay excellent that's good so all of those now should be working so i'm just wondering i'm going to give us a little bit of time but if that doesn't get picked up have I set this to only certain districts? I haven't. I'm just wondering whether, because it's so far away, we could just do with a little recycling centre over here and popping it in this area where we've got all this other industrial stuff going on, I think would be a good idea. So I'm just going to pop a road along the back there and we'll just pop it along next to this one. Uh, recycling centre, we could just go for a landfill as we don't have one. That is not going to fit in. Oh, it lets me put it over the road like that. That is very weird. Now, let's pop in a recycling centre. That is too big as well. Darn it. Okay, we'll go this way then. Mm, that's the way in and out of the cargo station. Maybe we won't. Let us pop it in over here. There we go. That will go there fine. I'm just going to remove that road there. We've got space if we need to add more capacity around it. But, yep, they're heading out already, which is good. And should be able to head down the highway and into this area of the city so i'm just wondering now whether this one has got a vehicle that's been called out not yet yeah we'll keep an eye on that and see if anything turns up another little tip i just saw from toady the other day is there is a way to connect these paths up we can see that they're being used by people here there we go um, let's try and connect up this one so if you go directly into it it won't let you but if you just go back a spot there we go it will connect up which is great so we'll start from here there we go excellent so it means people are going to be walking in and out and cutting through there which is fantastic i want to just add another little path onto here a little path onto there for people getting around very good very good i feel like there should be one at the end of this road as well there we go excellent just before we check the final figures of all the transportation i've realized i don't think i have a road maintenance depot anywhere near here and the condition of most of the roads is pretty horrendous um, if i have got one somewhere and i can't find it it's not enough to cope with all of this so i'm just thinking we're going to maybe use a little area down here Got like a little dead end road. Is there farms? Let's just check if this is not all farmland under here before we pop this in. No, it isn't. We could do more forestry pretty much anywhere, so that's fine. So, we'll like use the end of this road here if it will just snap on. Excellent. There we go. And how many vehicles is that going to give us? 10. I'm going to upgrade this extra garage, another five. So, that's going to give us 15 altogether. And hopefully, that will just take care of all the accidents that we're getting which are many at the moment aha there we go they're all going out with their snow plows attached because the snow is getting pretty horrendous at the moment and then if we keep the view like this at the minute we can see them going out down here but all the roads are red and then hopefully once they start spreading out and going around the city we're going to see a lot of these roads turning green look which they are already which is brilliant but let's take a look at the bus use that we have and that has definitely increased 79 to 81 59 to 56 that's dropped a bit 16 to 47 percent 
which is good. The next one's dropped. The next one's dropped. The bottom one's dropped. So we've got an increase in a couple. Some have gone down. Um, but if we actually look at our overall transportation use, that has shot up from 19,738 to over 22,000, which is great. And the city is still making money. I've dropped the taxes. We've got free transportation everywhere and we're still making tons of money and the city is growing so that is fantastic if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe leave a like if you enjoyed it as well i'll see you very soon for the next one have a great day take care bye, -bye.